A very warm, uh, if slightly breezy, welcome back to Florianopolis in southeastern part of Brazil on the coast here. Beautiful sunshine, a bit of a winter warmer for some of you back home where I know the weather is absolutely miserable. In fact, it is across Northern Europe. Well, the great and the good from the world of motorsports are uh, about to go right back to their karting routes. They did so yesterday. And uh, Michael Schumacher just showed everyone the way home, stalking his prey to take this one, the opening round uh, race of two, in fact. Yes, to find out who is going to be crowned the uh, Desafao Internacional des Estrellas, uh, the Battle of the Stars winner, 2009. Yeah, Michael Schumacher is here, so is uh, uh, current Ferrari buddies, uh, Barrichello, and of course, uh, Felipe Massa, and uh, other stalwarts like Di Grazzi, Liuzzi, Piquet Jr., and of course some old friends as well like Tony Canan, uh, Christian Fittipaldi uh, from the likes of NASCAR GT Racing and Superstock here in Brazil. So we're just waiting for the first sighting lap. Uh, a bit more familiar and the rain that hampered proceedings when it came uh, to practice and the warm-up I think of the past. Not such a green track as well so grip levels should be half decent. Uh, the banana yellow car is Tony Canan. He is not on pole, it's Pitsonia next to him. Uh, the top eight from race one spun round you just saw michael schumacher in his traditional tangerine red kind of colored helmet and what looks like uh, the italian flag on his bonnet as well uh, they are cowled for these cards and uh, the reason is of course it's a it's a great um backdrop upon which to place a load of advertising <laughs> it seems that only some of them have picked up that advertising along the way but nonetheless the stars are here in force and there is your grid uh, it is uh, Pizzonia and Canan on one uh, Barrichello and Mira on two Di Grazzi and Massa on three Liuzzi and the race one winner uh, Michael Schumacher is on row four and then it's finishing order from then on in uh, with uh, Nelson Piquet Jr. with Duda Pamplona uh, Ricardo Zonta and Tosso Marquez and uh, then comes Benali and Morris, uh, Paolo de Oliveira, uh, Pedro Bueno with Bertie Giafoni, uh, Ferregredo and Berlanda, Negrao and Gomez, Mato and Christian Fittipaldi who had an awful opening race when he spun off, Max Wilson from Stock Car Racing here in uh, in uh, Brazil with uh, at the back after a lousy one. Here we go then, coming round to the start, who's your money on? Well surely, surely, Canaan's got to have something to say here but already the skirmishing not oh Michael Schumacher almost involved he was part of the shimmy there right at the very beginning but got away with it Michael Schumacher however has fallen down there he is in the tangerine helmet uh, must be around about ninth place I think he's lost just one spot uh, from his starting position on row four here so settle yourselves down it's 25 minutes plus one lap of racing at this glorious Florianopolis track here Well, the three car it is of Pizzonia that's holding station at the moment. Tony Canan just selling himself in, and the 11 car of Barrichello is right there. Well, Barrichello not having uh, the cleanest of runs through. Felipe Massi would have hoped uh, for a little bit better as well, although he did get on the first opening race podium. It's a combination of the two races to find out who is the winner of the Battle of the Stars here. Don't worry about the odd umbrella. They have turned into parasols here. Parasol against the sun as the 11 car of Barrichello slips out and goes into second place here, does he? Big shimmy up the inside and makes it stick. Fine style and Tony Canan is under all kinds of pressure here. Yes, Tony Canan being punished and uh, Michael Schumacher just waiting and stalking as he did yesterday uh, to move up through the rankings. And he is at the back of this group at the moment. Tony Canan on the fight back here. He wants a piece of Barrichello, so solidly into second place right now. The man who's got the get-go and is free and up front is Pizzonia. But it doesn't do you much good. All you have to do is uh, ask the likes of Nelson Piquet Jr. led for so much of the race yesterday. One momentary lapse of concentration. If you're punching a hole in the air, everyone stacks up behind you and any mistake that you possibly make costs you dear. Barrichello at the moment doing some great defensive work here and there's no way for Canal in the uh, banana yellow machine to get back into this one just for the time being. This is super running by the lead three here. Uh, playing catch up just for the time being. It's the 27 car of Vito Miro's in IndyCar racing the 32 year old. He's the one who's in that uh, awful pit lane fire and picks himself up a couple of broken vertebrae along the way. Quick check over the shoulders there. A big check from uh, Liuzzi there. 
Petonia, Kanan, uh, Barrichello, you want two, three, Di Grazzi, Mera and Liuzzi. Uh, Michael Schumacher's uh, starting place. Uh, he's on the slip here. Well, he was right at the very beginning and right up the back side of uh, the 21 car here of Figueredo uh, in the black stealth machine and doing some very, very good work here. Oh, look at this. There's the contact and uh, muscle your way through. Felipe Massa taking no prisoners here. Now, you do have to watch out that the bodywork doesn't come just a little bit loose. It's held on by uh, clips and stays and uh, I think possibly just some uh, nylon draw pulls and that is a shame, a big, big shame. And gonna, there's going to be a, a, a few words exchanged between those two. They had history here, a lot of contact and um, looking very second-hand, unfortunately. <laughs> Well, that battle rages on, and so it does up front, but the cheers off of Barrichello. Look at that. Take your moments, make your pass. Unfortunately, we're on uh, the replay of the earlier incident, but Barrichello has made it, and there it is. Just as he comes across the start-finish line, gets a lovely, lovely draft and a super, super move through. Thank you very much, he says, and it's the three-car of Petonia who pays the price for that. Tony Canan uh, would like a piece of him as well. Looking back, and Michael Schumacher is up to fifth place by the looks of things here. Let's check him out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh position at the moment. Just readjusts his seating position as he comes out of that corner. Big, big cheers raging on now. The reason is it's legs 11 out front, and that's Ruben Barrichello. Yeah, the only man to have raced against Senna and Frost and still be involved in Formula 1. I think we told you that yesterday during the live. You're live here right now as Tony Kanan comes through as well. Oh, one mistake and you pay a heavy, heavy price here. And it's Pizzonia that's going backwards, backwards, backwards. If you get out of the train, all of a sudden, you find yourself totally punished. And I think he's gone uh, right back to fifth spot at the moment. Masses in front of him as well. And so is the 27 car of Victor Mira. This is great work, great work by them, but uh, well, sad, sad news for the three cards. And there he is at the moment. Uh, Michael Schumacher involved here. I don't know quite what all that is supposed to indicate, apart from the fact that he's uh, circulating very, very quickly. Uh, Melo, oh, quick lap so far, there we are. Melo Volta. Uh, my Portuguese not quite up to scratch as we speak. So here we are, uh, fastest lap for Michael Schumacher. He's uh, keeping calm. Yesterday we saw him, and there he is again, just keeping clear of any skirmishes up front. We saw him looking so cool. He picked up a 25 points for yesterday. It's 20 on offer today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh place Michael Schumacher, but he's not having things all his own way. And look at that nice little move there by Nigel PK Jr. Making up for yesterday, perhaps. He's on the bounce back, is he? Well, it was a little skirmish right at the beginning that kind of slaughtered us, uh, mixed things up just a little bit. Michael Schumacher kept his nose clean. Nelson Piquet Jr. in the 50 car, though, uh, is also here back and on the march, which is nice to see. Uh, I felt a bit sorry for him yesterday, so much on his shoulders. There's the number one, Michael Schumacher, with the tangerine helmet and the Italian uh, flag liveried machine. Right up his backside at the moment is this Antonio Liuzzi, if he takes him off. There's going to be words, so yeah. And Nelson Piquet Jr. just makes a, 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 gives the back of his neck a little bit of a scratch, showing how relaxed he is in competition. Michael Schumacher as well yesterday uh, wasn't doing any of the aero stuff, just kind of sat up a little bit, just waited for the opportunities to present themselves, a little bit of a mix adjustment going on for Lucas de Grazzi, and as a result, Schumacher closes in on him. Uh, I think Schumacher may well start to think about making a move because he's got pressure behind and doesn't really want that to tell. If he can just make a cheeky little move through, it will uh, take the pressure off at the moment. He's in the sandwich here, and it's not a position he would particularly like to be, I'm sure. So, Leonsi, it is at the back of this train here. There's Michael Schumacher just ahead of him. Uh, Schumacher will want to make uh, something of this. We'll see. It's Ruben Barrichello at the front at the moment with Tony Canan breathing down his neck. Uh, Mira, Massa, Di Grazzi, Schumacher in the sixth spot now as we speak. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, he is indeed. Uh, this is good stuff. There is Felipe Massa looking uh, really feisty and competitive here. And uh, the three car is uh, just behind him as we speak. 27 car comes out, has a big look under Tony Kinnan and says, thank you very much. Mira makes the pass. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, IndyCar for, uh, for Mira and uh, Tony Kinnan, of course, a long, long time stalwart of American Open Wheel Racing as well. Know each other well, maybe they know each other's styles. Uh, bedded into this train is Michael Schumacher just behind Pitsoni. Can't find a way through just for now. Uh, but 
Pizzonia and he having a little bit of a swap positions. I think Pizzonia was uh, trailing him a little while ago. A little bit of apologies. Bump and uh, sorry. <laughs> so gentlemanly it is. They have had a bit of a swap around here. Schumacher though still well within himself here as far as uh, yesterday's performance was concerned. And in fact uh, Schumacher has just moved up one spot. So uh, forgive me for that confusion. As a quick look over his shoulder does uh, De Grazzi. Uh, De Grazzi has, and it is Pizzonia in front of Schumacher now, has a look. Oh, big slew, is this going to be a slide-out mistake? No, nicely done, very, very nicely done, with apologies. We always like that from uh, Liuzzi, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, doing the dirty, uh, uh, well, actually, that was very, very skillful, you've got to say. Nice and smooth it was. And so will be this pass of Michael Schumacher. One mistake, and he's done like a kipper, Pizzonia, surely. Um, 25 minutes plus one lap. Doesn't want to let them get too far away up front. He's going to start to fret about it, I should imagine, in about the next five to ten minutes' time. Would like to be in P4 or 3, uh, I should imagine. Michael Schumacher in the tangerine helmet, as we're following him at the moment. Right now, he's down there in about uh, sixth spot as we speak, possibly fifth. And there it is, uh, fifth place it is indeed. Here's the contact, which uh, gave the apology, I think. <laughs> Luca Di Grazzi. Hey, thank you very much. Schumacher makes a masterful slide take there at the end of the start-finish straight. Nice course, this one. Very sort of lazy right-hander off the start-finish straight. But, uh, tightening, tightening, tightening as he does, turning into a very, very sharp, almost hairpin right. And then a couple of S's, a hairpin S, and then a lazier S before you uh, wend your way back uh, to the start finish straight once more. Nice low camera angles as well, giving a real feeling here of uh, the pace of these machines. A big adjustment there by Canan. Even had a big look down as he approached the corner there. So Michael Schumacher in uh, fifth place, and uh, well, it just goes from bad to worse for Nelson Piquet Jr. There it was. He spun out of the first race, having lost the lead, and he spun out of this one as well. Finished ninth in the opening race. Didn't do him much good because uh, they spun round the top eight. Look at this, Kanan, another scalp, and the cheer goes up because it's Massa that's taking him. He's into third place. Michael Schumacher in fifth place now, behind Tony Kanan. <laughs> I feel sorry for Tony Kinnan. He doesn't look out of his depth, but uh, he's certainly being challenged here. Maybe he didn't dwell that long in karting at the beginning of his career. Makes a big, big adjustment. Uh, bobs his head forward, and here comes Michael Schumacher all over the back of Tony Kinnan. One error, and he's got him. And not, doesn't even wait for the error. Fires him through. Perfect, perfect. Tony Kinnan forced wide, and Michael Schumacher moves up another spot. And Michael Schumacher, don't forget, grew up karting. Uh, we said yesterday uh, during the live that... Uh, practically learned to cart before he could walk well that's uh, almost the case dad owned the track of course and he loves his karting and often appears at the end of any season just keep his hand in racing really a lot of speculation about what he's going to be doing next year couldn't uh, take part in formula one to fill in for massa this year because of uh, neck issues entry picked up motorcycling it'd be nice to see him get back into open wheel for rate or for open wheel uh, four wheel racing again well, we'll see. Tony Canan is a bit of a bottle in the, uh, a cork in the bottle at the moment, and it's Pizzonia who's over the back of him now. Try the switch on the inside. Canan, wise to him, knows he's there. Will there be a little bit of a punt? Well, it's, uh, <laughs> it's thrilling stuff if you happen to be a Canan fan here. Uh, as far as the lead is concerned, Ruben Barrichello, Mira, Massa, Michael Schumacher now in fourth place. Tony Canan on the fade, being challenged here by Liuzzi with Di Grazzi, Berti and Gomez. And uh, don't bother looking for Piquet Jr. He is out of this one. We've had uh, higher attrition rate, attrition rate. Ricardo Zonta is also gone. Mario Morris is also gone. Giafoni also gone in the, in the second lap. Zonta and Giafoni was it got into uh, uh, into each other. And Massa has a look down the inside and takes second place from Mira. Thank you very much. Well, Barrichello, Massa. If they have the, Barrichello, Massa, and uh, Schumacher, one, two, and three, I think the crowd will go absolutely mental here. Plenty have turned up for this one in the blazing sunshine here in Brazil uh, to watch these boys just have an end of term party. Really, Mira now in third place as Felipe Massa has made that spot his own, and here comes Michael Schumacher. Well, yesterday he just sort of sat up, really, uh, enjoying the hole being punched in the air by those ahead of him and just waiting for mistakes. And he's come back from around about eighth, even ninth place, I think it was, right at the beginning. And Michael Schumacher just bedding into this one, settling himself down nicely. 
almost uh, pulling the quilt over him in the uh, in comfort zone, I think is what you could say. Yes, he's probably got a tartan blanket on his knees in there. He'd need one if he was in Europe, but thank heaven he is in Brazil with this beautiful sunshine. And uh, big, big look back from Barrichello and uh, Massa there as uh, they come across the line. Mira in fourth place, and surely, surely he knows who's behind him. <laughs> <laughs> he can always tell by the cheers from the crowd. Uh, there is Michael Schumacher. Let's just hope that uh, this weekend belongs to him. You just missed out on the race of champions. Uh, beaten by Manny's Ekstrom yet again, it seems, at the end of uh, the year. And uh, that's a shame. And more bodywork. Trying to get it clear of the wheels here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, adjustments to your bodywork from Luca Di Grazzi. Uh, that's a shame for him. A little bit further down the order, Di Grazzi. Nonetheless, I think that's day done for him. Meanwhile, Michael Schumacher still playing stalker here. We haven't had the uh, clock rolling on this one just yet, or if uh, you've seen it, I certainly haven't, unfortunately. 25 minutes in total. We're about 15 minutes into this one. I should think probably about 12. Oh, big handful, big handful from Michael Schumacher here. Maybe he's had to push just a little bit harder than he did yesterday. Saved his tyres beautifully as being part of a train. Uh, but this time by... Oh, it looks more or less the same. We'll take a break. Back in a moment, Mike. Welcome back to Florianopolis. Uh, pleasant sunshine and a pleasant day out, unless, of course, your name happens to be Victor Mira. Uh, Ruben Barrichello and Felipe Massa, Ferrari stalwarts, one and two at the moment. Michael Schumacher uh, draped in the Italian flag uh, atop his cart here. Chasing down Victor Mira, it's the Battle of the Stars, and look at this, Massa has a look underneath Barrichello and makes it stick, brilliant work, start finish straight, that's exactly how Barrichello took the lead himself not so long ago, and he's been done exactly the same way here by Massa. Now then, Schumacher's going to have to start thinking about making his move because time starting to uh, run out here, we've got about eight minutes remaining of this one, and then we'll have the uh, uh, Vuelta Ultima the final lap on top of the 25 minutes at the end. Right now, I don't know whether he's doing the maths, Michael Schumacher, 25 points after the first race. There's 20 on offer, don't forget, is the starting point for the winner of race two. Uh, Barrichello picked up 10, Felipe Massa picked up 16. Uh, I think Michael would like to just make certain of it by finishing third here. Uh, which would pick him up uh, 13 points to add to his 25 and get the title. Look at that big look up the inside here by Mira. <laughs> Barrichello is being punished here. Now then, old Ferrari teammates, Michael Schumacher and Rubens Barrichello. <laughs> How's this one going to get sorted out? If he goes by him, he is going to be giving a big banana bendy face grin uh, inside his helmet. Uh, this is terrific. Uh, that is wrong, uh, that as we speak. Uh, Barrichello has just dropped down a spot. He's in third place, but Michael Schumacher is uh, waiting to enjoy this one, <laughs> and so are we. This is terrific. Out front, it's uh, the 19th card of Felipe Massa. Said this track requires an awful lot of concentration, something that clearly Rubens Barrichello has not had. It was a mighty roar, the biggest roar of the day, I think, when uh, Barrichello took the lead. He is hugely popular, uh, Mr. Samba. I suspect if he wins this one, he's going to need a bit of a turnaround of fortunes here, though. <laughs> Look at this. Now then, up the inside comes Shumi and does him again. I don't know whether he's got some sort of issue here, Barrichello. Uh, maybe it's tyres. When you're out there and leading for a long, long time, uh, you are doing all the work and everyone else is kind of following really, there's less pressure on uh, the uh, machinery and particularly on the contact point with the track here. And so smooth is Michael Schumacher as he goes past Rubens Barrichello to take that third place. Uh, so smooth is he on a cart circuit, he doesn't really bother with trying to keep his head out of uh, the slipstream. Uh, none of that bobbing down behind the fairing, just rides it home. And right now, he's actually putting a bit of distance between himself and Barrichello. Big check over his shoulders. It's between these four, and there it is. We've got seven minutes and 30 remaining. Confirmation at last with the clock for you of this one. And then we'll have a final lap. But Michael Schumacher is in party mode. Now then, uh, out in front of him is Vitor Mira. Uh, you might think, surely, surely, he's going to take him. Vitor Mira, though, 32 years of age, uh, in the stalwart, and... Uh, Pretty handy as well, cart rider, as you can see. 
And uh, Michael, well, he's kept his hand in with four wheels when has been called on to do so. Pretty good in the race of champions as well. Kind of got himself fit for the possibility of a Ferrari call-up to fill in for Massa this year in Formula 1. Didn't happen. But now Mercedes have uh, entered the fray, good and proper, taking over the Braun outfit. And uh, word is they're looking for an all-German crew, which is why they released Jensen Button to McLaren to race alongside Lewis Hamilton. So you never, ever know. There may be a, a door opening for Michael Schumacher. Made it an uncharacteristic mistake just there. Grabbed a big handful. Um, the front end just starting to loosen up ever so slightly. So, check this out. Bing, bang, bong. That's Mr. X, uh, Zanadu Nagrao, who uh, is the only man to get himself lapped yesterday. Uh, I suspect we may well be in a lapping situation again on this one. Same race distance and uh, perhaps even more keenly fought up front. Look at that. Michael's uh, starting to lose grip and starting to think about uh, making his move here. And Mira knows this, knows he's right behind him. Michael taking a big lazy look there, left it very, very late. You can see the big black slick of, uh, uh, of uh, rubber that we've got coming into that corner. That's one of the uh, nastier S's as we head back uh, along the rear of the track here. Felipe Massa not exactly under pressure at the moment. No, but the uh, same can't be said for Mira. There is, uh, is the 65 car of Max Wilson. Uh, there he is. This is uh, a wee bit way down, that's uh, in eighth place and back from there, but a good little skirmish going on, you have to say, as well. Max Wilson enjoying life out there. There's some uh, some big names taking part here. Christian Fittipaldi running in tenth place just behind, and uh, uh, Luciano Berti getting it a little bit wrong as well, Luca. So out front, nothing much changes, but <laughs> look at this. They're racing absolutely everywhere. The instinct just kicks in. They can't help themselves. Less than five minutes to go here at Florianopolis. Let's see if the sponsors uh, did get their dream further down. That's uh, Figueredo in the orange topped machine. Not quite sure who's sponsor. Oh dear, oh dear. That's a shame. Big handful of uh, overcorrection there but managed to get hold of it. That's Rafael Matos, who's supposed to be in the two car, but suddenly switched to 60. Goodness only knows why. Indy Lights and their former champ car Atlantic champion as well. Meanwhile, the one, two, three, looking a little bit familiar. Rubens Barrichello, clearly he's uh, just done his tires. He's nowhere to be seen. Well, he is, but he's uh, been gapped here big time. Uh, the man who's holding on for grim death here is Victor Mira. <laughs> Fancy having uh, Massa in front of you and Schumacher behind you. There is that punt that uh, started off a little bit of a chain reaction through the field here. It's feisty, isn't it? And it's likely to be so up front. Michael Schumacher at the back of this group. Massa, Mira, Schumacher are your one, two, three. Barrichello on his own. Then comes Pizzonia and Kinan. Pizzonia and Kinan also spaced. Gomez, Wilson and Christian Fittipaldi in ninth place. That was that little skirmish that you saw. It's Max Wilson, not Justin. Justin could quite fold himself into these uh, carts these days. Across the line they come again. Bang, bang, bang. And it is uh, Schumacher in third place. For how much longer? We're not holding our breath because I think he's probably done enough if he stays in that place. But he's got just about three minutes remaining. Three minutes and 20 as the clock ticks down. And then we'll have that uh, final lap. Well, to Ultima to be contended. Another shift in his seat here for Michael. Looks so calm and controlled. Ah, Felipe Massa up front, though. Equally so. He's going to come away for victory here. It would be nice to see uh, Schumacher knocking on the door. Not, not uh, wanting uh, Peter Mira to uh, throw it away either. Good feisty effort by him as well. Uh, Barrichello looks like he's settled in for fourth place here. Uh, such a gap between he and the remainder that uh, I think he can almost bagsy that spot as we speak. Tony Kanan still in fifth place with Marco Gomez and in sixth with Max Wilson as well. Way hello. There's ambition for you. I like that. Come on, Victor. Let's see you. Uh, so he's decided that uh, defence is not the uh, best form of uh, attack. Is that the right one? <laughs> I think he's decided that attack is the best form of defence. Let's uh, get it right, shall we? And so he had a big, big go there. Michael giving him a bit, bit more respect, as you can see. He's not as tight in as he was. Massa out front. I think Mira would rather be in front of Massa and use him as a bit of a cushion here. 
Uh, watch the start finish straight. Uh, Michael just checks over his shoulder, says, uh, right, how much time have we got? Uh, camera on the rumble strip, how much space have I got? Rubens has given him a, a goodly margin here. And so as they come through that little hairpin section, uh, hairpin S's, and we work our way back to the start, finish straight, here we go. Now, is he near enough to make the move? Yes, he is, is the answer, and does so beautifully, and as ever, uh, acknowledges the cheers of the crowds. <laughs> Peter Mira, so upset by that, that uh, he's almost got himself into the clutches of Barrichello, who's in fourth place. If Barrichello makes the podium, they'll go mental. Uh, it would almost be a dream podium for them. Massa, Schumacher and Barrichello, they would absolutely love it. So then, question is, has Massa... <laughs> <laughs> got what it takes here to hold off the king of karting Michael Schumacher that's where he started it's where all these boys started and built a very very illustrious career which brought him seven uh, Formula 1 world championship titles uh, maybe more to come who knows will he come back out of retirement well he's looking all but put in the box here is he Michael Schumacher looking very comfy and here it comes then surely surely he's going to let him sweat yes he is <laughs> I think second place will do it. He will win with the combined total. But he is a racer after all, and a bit of an assassin when it comes to karting. So, well, we're going to have two laps here on the back of the clock. What about that for race two? Well, we like that. Like that a lot. Uh, it was unexpected. I thought it was just going to be the one, but uh, it looks like they're going to let them go twice here. So, clock out. And clock this <laughs> Michael Schumacher chasing down Felipe Massa just behind them uh, Vito Mero who had a very very brave campaign in this one uh, here we go then what have you got cards on the table time surely <laughs> oh everyone's roaring them home here checks over his shoulder there we go getting the thumb that's one to go Ultima Volta here we go then it's now or never. <clears throat> Where on earth? Michael's uh, missed his favourite overtaking position, but there he is. Lovely, lovely close-up. <laughs> and look how cosy he is. Just go, just go, I think he's saying, if that was uh, the signal. Uh, he may well be quite prepared to let Felipe Massa take the applause here. After taking it yesterday, he'll have wrapped up the title as we see it here. The Battle of the Stars. Surely it's going to be Michael Schumacher. Unless he does something catastrophic, and you just cannot see that happening here. Will he take him, though? That's the question. As they come back round for the final time, I think he's going to let Massa take it. And he does. Here we are, then. Start, finish straight. Felipe Massa. Thank you very much. He takes the old tablecloth. And Michael Schumacher comes alongside. And they share the glory. And why not? Michael Schumacher showed that I think perhaps he could have taken it, but may have been in danger of taking Massa off. Schumacher then wraps up the title here in some style. Massa does what he wanted to do as well. <laughs> well, we love it. And uh, Michael just tips the helmet. Not sure how legal that is, but hey, I don't think anyone's going to give him any penalties here. Shows his face to the crowd. He's the man they've come to see, along with their heroes, Massa Barrichello. They exit the carts and uh, do the climb of glory here. And why not? Michael Schumacher may well have won this event. Felipe Massa finishes in the runners-up spot. Could have been a better one, too, as far as the crowd are concerned. And... As a cucumber, Mr. Cool comes round, waving to the crowd, just uh, getting the breeze in his uh, rather military-style haircut these days. Great to see. He's enjoyed himself. And wouldn't you? Wouldn't you love to be in the sunshine here in Florianopolis? Of course you would. Confirmation of how race two ended then. The final... Result of the Batera de Estrellas. Massa taking it ahead of Schumacher. Mira in third place with Barrichello in fourth spot. So by my reckoning, Michael Schumacher wraps it up with uh, 25 plus 16 points. He gets the title with Massa as your runner-up. Thank you very much indeed. 
Well, it was entertaining stuff. Uh, I really think that possibly is the season finale now. Maybe a bit of ice racing to uh, keep you uh, cooled down ahead of the Dakar proper motorsport. Well, you've uh, enjoyed the highs and uh, the lows of all the emotions throughout the season. And it's been a pleasure to be with you for uh, much of it. And uh, I'm Carlton Kirby. Thanks for your company here in the sunshine of Florianopolis in southeastern coast of Brazil. The flag falling. <laughs> and uh, the cheers began almost immediately, did they not? Massa then runner up to Michael Schumacher. Couldn't have been a better one, too, here for them. They loved it. Hope you did, too. And so from Florianopolis, where the great and the good have come to enjoy themselves. It's been a pleasure to have you company. I will see you next year. Don't forget, Dakar starts early January. See you then. <laughs>